out how the Georgia Lottery provides hope in two different ways. Coming up next on News Source 15. The economy, of course, is struggling right now, but people still want to treat themselves. And one way they do that is with a good beer. Find out how the number one ranked Diamond Dogs plan to knock out the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Coming up next in sports. Uh, even though this helicopter is sitting still right now, just imagine earlier today, Sergeant Kevin Thompson of the Georgia State Patrol was flying at speeds of 115 miles per hour and was the only member of the fleet that was able to keep up with the car before it crashed into the ditch. Really looking to hope to win back their lost salaries by playing the lottery? Unfortunately, Mark, the answer is yes. The current economic crisis has caused some people to put their hope in chance. Lottery sales are up. $42 million to be exact over the last fiscal year. The bad economy is the main reason why so many people are turning to the lottery to bail them out of this financial crisis. Patel, who has been working at the Golden Pantry on North Avenue in Athens for the last five years, says he's definitely noticed an increase in ticket sales since the recession began. Lottery sales has picked up, you know, and uh, there are a bunch, bunch of scratch off every other week. There is new scratch off coming out, you know, and there are a lot more people out there, they're just more into the lottery now. A lot of people will play the lottery to try and make some fast cash. Scratch off tickets like the one right here, the most common forms of tickets that are purchased. Instead of having to wait to see if you've won, you can play right away. The current economic crisis has caused some people to lose their jobs and their homes, and they have turned to the lottery for hope. I have personally been affected by the economy. I was laid off five months ago, and uh, you know, playing uh, the lottery is like hoping that I could win it so that I wouldn't have to be uh, financially bankrupt. Ricky Willis knows people who pay over $120 a day for lottery tickets. He said that he plays every day and is waiting for that big payoff. I'm going to stick with it, but as much as I can, I'm going to stick with it. I sure am. When I was speaking with Roy Smith, I asked him if he thought it was fair for lottery revenue to be given to programs such as the Hope Scholarship. He told me they did believe that it was fair, but would like to see some of that money redistributed to people that actually purchased the tickets. Possible that Alexander Jenkins could have gotten away. After police on the ground lost sight of Jenkins at approximately 8.30 this morning, Thompson was asked to assist in the pursuit. Okay. He joined the chase at approximately 8.40 and spotted the suspect in Arcade, Georgia, heading south toward Athens. He followed the car that was driving at speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. Thompson said that even he was having a hard time keeping up, but was able to intercept the driver by his ability to fly in straight lines. Uh, even though this helicopter is sitting still right now, just imagine earlier today, Sergeant Kevin Thompson of the Georgia State Patrol was flying at speeds of 115 miles per hour and was the only member of the fleet that was able to keep up with the car before it crashed into the ditch. The chase came to an end soon after Thompson flew into just 200 feet above Jenkins' car to let him know that he had him in his sights. Trying to let him know that I was there because, uh, you know, he had been focused um, and trying to keep up with who was behind him or whatever and wasn't really paying attention to anything in the air. And, uh, of course, then when I got involved in it and uh, was able to intercept the chase, I wanted him to know that I was there in the air and that, you know, he wasn't going to get away. So it was better just to go ahead and try to stop the chase there and uh, persuade him to pull over and, and give up. But he didn't have that on his mind this morning, so the results are as they are. Now, those results that Sergeant Thompson are refer is referring to, Dylan, result are in reference to the events that took place earlier today. News Source 15's Mark Davenport describes to us the aftermath of what took place in the chase earlier today. To a recently published report by the Beer Institute, beer sales are doing just fine despite the current recession. And this couldn't be more true than for a town like Athens. Beer sales are up. Sales across the board for microbreweries in particular are up 10%. And Terrapin Beer Company in Athens has seen increases over 50%. John Cochran is co-founder and president of Terrapin Beer and says that despite the current economy, sales have been great. John couldn't give me an exact yeah, reason for why beer is doing so well, but he did offer and, and a theory. This is my theory, okay? This is not a scientific fact, but people cannot afford to go buy a new car. They can't take that vacation. So even though they can't go spend a lot of money and they're cutting back, they still want to feel like they're doing something for themselves. And I think beer, especially good craft quality beer, really fits into that. 
The economy, of course, is struggling right now, but people still want to treat themselves. And one way they do that is with a good beer. Bars like the Globe in Athens have also noticed an increase in the success of beer since the recession started. Yeah, if it's several people are worried, yeah, but they're still coming in, you know. I mean, maybe they have a PBR instead of a Chimay, but as soon as New Year rolled around, things have been back to normal on the bar side. The Globe is a restaurant bar and understands firsthand just how bad the recession really is. Although beer sales have been good, the restaurant side of things has been a little tough. You cut costs where you can. I mean, like I said, the restaurant side of things is not the best it's ever been. We've um, shortened the hours a little bit for serving lunch. 30 minutes on each side of it really makes a big difference in labor costs and things. So we're saving there. Um, trying not to cut on quality of product that we're selling. Now, I interviewed several bar managers around town, and they said that their sales from last year are either the same, if not better, this year. Now, none of them could give me an exact reason as to why this was, but speculated that beer is one of the only affordable luxury commodities still available.